the Mercedes AMG W11 EQ Performance, or as I like to call it, Team LH's Motorized Wet Dream. I know nothing about cars or racing, nor am I interested in it, but I love Lewis so much. Oh my God, Lewis, please moan me. The W11 was created specifically for the 2020 Formula One season, driven by the guy that's on the $10 bill and the Finnish guy that gets bullied on a regular basis. Valtteri, it's James, please hold position. I'm sorry. It will be James. Why the f don't listen to me when I say it's gonna be a two stopper? And it's considered to be one of, if not the fastest, dominant, technical, innovative car in Formula One history. And it only cost Mercedes $459 million to get across the 2020 season. Because after the guy that's on the $10 bill won his sixth championship, the good hardworking folks at Mercedes got together to discuss plans for the new decade. And the big boy boss, Toto Wolff, instructed his cronies to make a car that's even faster than the W10 or else he'll throw them all off a bridge in Twin Falls, Idaho. So the whole Ben's Guy crew got together to work countless hours past the clock, innovating radical ideas to push the car's full potential and eventually creating the W11. And someone thought that Silver was dead to them and repainted the car black. Silver arrow my ass. And once the car was finished, Toto Wolf made a call to the FIA to brag about it. Michael, this is Toto. Go ahead, Toto. Michael, I have sent you an email with a diagram showing how badass our new car is! Did you receive that? Uh, Toto, no, I honestly don't really give a shit, and once the car's been revealed to the world, it's time for the W11 to compete in the 2020 Formula 1 Championship. <laughs> Well, because the world decided to lose its shit, the car unfortunately wasn't able to compete in the upcoming Grand Prix. But fear not, because Formula One got back to racing in the Red Bull ring in early July, and was quickly proven to be a top-notch rally car, with Valtteri getting pole position with a 102-939, and also winning the Austrian Grand Prix. <laughs> yes! No! No! That is so not right. That is so not right. And for the rest of the season, the W11 kicked everyone's ass six ways to Sunday, scoring 15 pole positions, nine fastest laps, and 13 wins. The Finnish guy scoring two, while $10 won 11 races, along with his seventh championship in Turkey, or sixth or fifth, depending how offended you are right now. I honestly don't know what the rules are for you F1 fans. How dare you? Except for one occasion where Vortex Story won the Italian Grand Prix. Hello, F1 driver. Yeah, it was a great race. Quite unfortunate that my shitbox Honda was able to keep up with Alexander Hamilton. Make sure you check out vortexstoryalphastory.com. Thanks, I have to my left eye also. But for Lewis Hamilton, the checkered flag will come in the nick of time. Is that the last lap? That's it, mate. You've done it. You've done it. But for one occasion, in the Secure Grand Prix, George Russell got to take a break from driving his slow-ass Williams go-kart and got his one-time shot to drive with the big boys. Simply because Hamilton caught a bunch of germs from an infected $10 bill and throughout the race, Curious George was doing pretty well actually. Doing a wacky overtake on his teammate, keeping up with the pack at a decent position, but then this happens. Rear left puncture, looks like rear left puncture. So instead, Georgie Orgy had his hopes and dreams of winning a race immediately destroyed. And instead, a Mexican Barbie fan ends up taking the win instead. After, you know, spitting out and shit. But let's talk more about the car itself. The car is powered with the F1 regulated 1.6 liter turbo hybrid V6 engine. Sorry, power unit. Technically known as the AMG HPP M11. And it can rev up to 15,000 rocket powered Mohawks with 1,025 horsepower to back it up. And for the transmission, well, a super expensive 8-speed semi-auto sequential, and of course, the drag reduction system for the rear spoiler. But one feature that the W11 had that no other F1 car had was the DOS system. Dual axis steering. What is it, you ask? Well, according to F1 technical nerd Mark Hugh Janus, it's a special device that adjusts the toe angle of the front tires. By simply pushing or pulling the steering wheel like an airplane, the toe angle suddenly 
suddenly fix itself to the desired angle. By simply pulling on the wheel, you get more positive angle. And if you push the wheel, you get more negative angle, which is great for cornering actually. Because the Pirelli P0 tires that Formula 1 uses are about as sensitive as a Starbucks barista. So when you're on the straights, you can keep the toe angle neutral so that the tires are fine and dandy. And once you get to a right-hander, fucking set the toe in and heat up those bitches. But after the end of the 2020 season, the FIA saw the W11 and was like, yeah, no, this shit too advanced, kid. Consider this banned. And after the absolute dominance that was the W11, it's time for 2021. And they transformed the W11 into the W12. And hopefully, Mercedes gets another year of absolute dominance. Max Verstappen is champion of the world. <laughs> with his team and they are the reason that he's not won today. Lewis did everything right. Regardless if you like Mercedes or not, the Mercedes AMG W11 will go down as one of the most iconic cars in Formula 1 history. What the fuck? What is happening? Hey, hey, stop him! He's stealing the car! Stop him! He just took the W11! Stop! game first proper lap right up towards the fast left right combo hit the brakes tip it in absolute fucking carnage down to second for the fucking right hander tip it in oh do you know what you can get fucked as well mate do you know what i am slow he's gone wide there's more carnage more carnage yeah how about that dickhead I'm going to cut to the inside. Shall I go inside? No, that! Honestly, no bet. i got to take advantage while these dickheads are fighting in front of me. We've got a healthy gap behind. Fuck all of you motherfuckers. Yes! Oh, yes! Shit. All right, calm down. It's all about this dick. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, sorry. Ha ha. Wait, where's the fucking... You fucking nonce bastard. Right, we've just been overtaken by Ferrari. Right, that's it. We're going to get him back. I'm not having that. That's beautiful! Oh, yes! Right, you didn't have the fucking nerve, did you? Fucking dickhead! Jesus Christ. Come on, we got with a chance of a pony bit. Right, cut back in. There we go. No! Damn it! See a fucking prick or what?